Hey reviewer, Jack here. Today I'm gonna play Naruto Clash of Ninja. I got this for about four bucks, and you know what? It looks pretty fun. When I was little, I was a big Naruto fan, and now that I grown up and saw this in the store, I thought, you know what? Why not? It looks pretty fun. Seven game play modes, including two player versus. Says you can play as Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, and more. That sounds pretty. Uh, I mean, seriously. More. I mean, it's not quite. It's kind of a guarantee when playing a Naruto game that you're gonna at least play those three people. Uh, unleash powerful combo attacks. Not quite. Unlock secret characters. We'll we'll see about that. Well, it's also rated T for teen because of cartoon violence. At least it's got one thing going for it. You ready to get schooled? <laughs> well, let's put this bad boy in and start playing, shall we? Naruto Clash of Ninja Seriously? Was Was that it? No, 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 no. No. Was that it? Seriously? I remember when fighting games came out, they always had this elaborate opening that actually showed all the characters and they were all fighting and got you really hyped that you're playing a fighting game. What is this? Seriously, what is this? This game is mark- so far it's marketed as- well, to my knowledge, it's marketed as a fighting game. And I'm going around telling people that this is a fighting game. But if it's going on like this, it's- it's more like it has a story and narrative to it. Am I right? If that's the case, then let's at least play the story and see what goes on in it, right? Also, why does it start when you start open it says one player? I mean... One player. What does the one player do? I'll find out after the story. Uh, the story, man. Uh, one thing I love about games is the story. How will it immerse me? I understand fighting games and all that. It's not quite fully story. It's always like... Mm, kind of half-ass put in. There we go. Yep. Fighting game. To celebrate your graduation from the academy. Okay, in the end, what it what they're talking about is Hiroko let Naruto graduate from the academy because he performed the ninjutsu. Did did that say Naruto Iruka? Clone ninjutsu or whatever. But in the anime and manga, which it's actually based off of, he did that and he beat the guy that. I don't know. Just watch it. I'll, I'm just gonna say this, it, you, gotta, you gotta read the manga and watch the anime, because they're pretty good. But the, the game is not even taken from the story or manga, it's, it's kinda changed to adapt to its own self. It doesn't really make sense. No way! So after beating Iruka, Iruka gives you more ramen. Great story writing. 
Yep. Fighting game. Hey, what's the deal? Why the heck am I doing this exercise? I'm a ninja now, you know? Now it goes to where Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura are waiting for Kakashi. So Naruto and Sasuke challenge each other to a fight. <laughs> this is how it plays out, right? This would this is what would really happen at this part in the story. Yeah. My ass. Oh yeah, that's how the fight would play out. Then after the defeat, Sakura freaks out at Naruto and then challenges him. Just some of these animations, it's just... I think they put more time in getting the animations from the... Something's... I mean, I think the voice acting is pretty okay. But it's a fighting game, just have the scrolls. And also, why bother having some be voiced and some not be voiced? Just have it all scroll. I mean, you guys could have done a lot more with the game and more choices and all that if you guys probably had taken those pieces out of the story. This fight would totally happen too. Naruto would just kick everyone's butt. Come on, change it up. It's a story. Have the victors actually win. You think the lowest person, Naruto, would beat the highest honored student, Sasuke, in a fight? No! Come on! And let alone Sakura right afterwards? Come on. Hurry up. Let's get going. Wait. So they weren't at the spot where they had to meet Kakashi, they met up at a spot where they had to go to then go meet Kakashi? So what was that point even about? God, this game does not make sense. It's just there for... The story does not make sense. It's just there for... Filler. Yep. Fighting game. Sensei, what do you mean survival exercise? So Kakashi is their new teacher. All they gotta do is get bells from him in the manga and the anime. And apparently in this game too. Still have a long way to go. But just beating the crap out of him is taking the bell from him. That's not what happened in the story either. Yep. Fighting game. I really don't want to destroy you. This doesn't make sense either. Why am I fighting Haku right now? When in the story, when they first start going to the land, the mist, or wherever the mist is, they went to the mist. Uh, they fought Zabuza first on the way there. Then Haku came and kind of killed him, but took him away. So why am I fighting Haku first at the bridge? This game seriously doesn't have anything fully related to it, just like a spin-off or an alternate reality. So after defeating Haku, you are... So the reason why they travel to the Land of the Mist is because they're helping get this bridge done for some reason, because they're getting... They have an assassin and all that, which is Zabuza after them. I really don't know. I didn't... 
quite follow that. When they were there, they mostly focused on the training and all that. In the store, in the manga and anime, but this one is just a fighting game. It doesn't really matter on the story. So it's questioning me why I'm even playing this. Having Zabuza at the end, the they're fighting Zabuza. What can I say? I can't switch out into anyone else. It's all Naruto. It's not really that worthwhile of playing. Knowing that there are better ones out there. You guys remember in the manga and story, right? Or even in this game, when Naruto defeated Zabuza single-handedly. I remember this game, yeah, clearly. But in the story and manga, no, wasn't that Kakashi? Why am I not playing as Kakashi? That at least sticks somewhat more to the story of the original. Yep. Fighting game. My name is Rock Lee. After the story of the mist, you fight Rock Lee. Well, if that's what you want. Who challenges Sasuke? Does this mean that we're gonna finally play as someone else besides Naruto? No! Over No idea that there were such strong ninja other than Sasuke. Naruto, you might be the star of this show and have your own name, this title. But by golly gee willikers. You're hogging everything. Some things never change. So after Naruto defeats Rock Lee, it's over. Third, not even 30 minutes, and the game, the story is over. I went through like a few books, a couple episodes, but at least it could oh, just. There's gotta be something else in this game that actually is worth talking about because, seriously? After defeating Rock Lee, you can now play as Rock Lee. Did I just unlock Rock Lee? Let's try Survival. Survival is more of the survival type. Where when you're playing, you gotta just survive. If you lose, you're done and over with. Where you gotta defeat them and stay in longer. The damage counter keep go keeps going in, so if you lose a certain amount of health, you start you re you regain a certain amount at the beginning of the next fight, but not all of it is regenerated. You have to keep earning it to get fully regenerated. So after beating survival mode, you unlock difficulty level four. Let's try time attack. So time attack is what it says. How long can you stay in the arena and stay in the fight? Well, coming in first place, I unlocked another thing. After defeating Time Attack, you unlock Attack Power number four. Let's go to the one player mo player mode now. It's my turn. Believe it.
I'm thinking I'm noticing a pattern here. So after beating one player mode, uh, you get shown the credit scene at the end of the story mode. So, story mode is really pointless unless you want to play as Naruto. There's no story to this game! Well, the plus side is after beating one player mode, you at least get screen mode. Well, on the plus side, you when you beat one player mode, you unlock sound test. So, now you can have the sound from the characters onto the game. Or you can just go and select the, te the sounds they make. Yeah, there's a pattern to this game. Uh, it's just a big unlocking fest. Apparently there's the Sharingan Kakashi, but I have not unlocked him. There is Kyobi Naruto, the nine-tailed fox aura Naruto, but I have not unlocked him. And I don't feel like playing the game long enough to unlock him, when it's more like a fighting game built for two people, instead of just one lonely person. If you want to unlock stuff and feel like you actually unlock stuff, I'd say play this game until you've unlocked majority of the stuff, then just stop. Unless you want to keep playing with a second player, which is a lot more fun. I don't care what they portray this to be, it's a fighting game. For me, it's a fighting game. Uh, just play it with multiple people, don't play it alone. It gets really boring alone. So if you have a friend, just play it. Don't go seeking this out to say you, well, if you want to get it and you're a big Naruto fan, then yeah, I get it, but it's it's just a, a fun time. You can get it if you want, but I don't recommend it. 